Hello everyone, my name is Keandri from We So Horty and welcome to another episode of The Rundown, a filthy casuals guide to World of Warcraft, where I touch on some of the big blizzard and wow news from the past week and let you know what's coming up in game for the coming week. We do have a lot to cover this week guys, so let's just dive right in. Uh, in Blizzard news, the biggest news of the week, of course, was the announcement of Patch 8.3 and its arrival on the PTR. 8.3 looks to be a monster content patch with new Volpura and Mechanome allied races, the Worgen and Goblin heritage armor, new mounts, new titles and factions, class changes, Titan assaults, which are another zone-wide assault mechanic, uh, hor horrific visions, which are being described as a mage tower type encounter for anywhere from one to five players, legendary cloaks, a new raid in Nyalotha, and much, much more. There's so much to cover in 8.3, um, far too much for me to cover in this video. So we will be linking uh, the Wowhead article with a full overview, as well as Ian Hasakostas' video covering all of the highlights that was released this week. In classic news, it was announced that the Dire Mall Dungeon will actually be released this week on October 15th, ahead of the rest of the Phase 2 content um, to give players more to do in-game. Blizzard has also pushed a configuration update for the Battle.net launcher that includes a beta option for Warcraft 3 Reforged. So with any luck, we will see a beta launch very soon. They still have the release date listed as no later than December 31st, 2019, but it's already almost halfway through October and we haven't even had the beta yet. So uh, my hopes for that actual release date are dwindling a little bit, um, but I'm still excited for the possibility of being able to test the beta. Um, so keep your fingers crossed. Uh, hopefully, Louie or I or both of us will be able to get into the beta and we will um, if we are allowed to stream any of that content, we absolutely will. So this week coming up in game, this week's bonus event is the pet battle bonus event. Upon logging in, you will get the sign of the critter buff, which will increase the experience gained by pets by 200%. If you are level 120, you can pick up the quest the very best from your adventurer's journal or from your capital city. Winning five PvP pet battles will earn you an ultimate battle training stone, which will instantly train one of your pets up to level 25. The Mythic Plus Affixes this week are level two fortified. Non-boss enemies have more health and deal 30% more damage. Level four, Sanguine. Non-boss enemies leave behind a pool of blood on the ground that damages players and heals enemies that stand inside of it. Level 7, Grievous. While below 90% health, players are affected with the Grievous Wound, a stacking debuff, which deals up to 8% of a player's health as damage every second until healed back up above 90%. And level 10, the Seasonal Affix Beguiling. As we know by now, Ashara's enemies are present throughout the dungeon, just making life generally difficult in different ways. The PvP Brawl Deep Wind Dunk will be active this week. It's a variation on the Deep Wind Gorge Battleground that involves getting colored orbs and carrying them and making baskets essentially uh, in a container at the enemy base. Uh, it is a resource race, so the first team to get X number of points wins. And finally, this week in WoW, on Friday the 18th, Hallow's End begins. Hallow's End is my absolute favorite in-game holiday, and so I'm very excited about this. Hallow's End brings lots of daily quests and activities, as well as candy buckets at all the inns, the ability to trick-or-treat once an hour with any innkeeper, and of course, the Headless Horseman. You can queue up to kill him once a day for a chance at his mount, which I probably will not get again this year. He also drops four rings, which I imagine will be item level 395 at 120, um, as well as a sword and a helm. We will, of course, link the full guide below. In We So Hoardy News, we had our Spooky Run event on Sunday, and the winner was Paul. Congratulations, Paul, and thank you so much to everybody who participated. We really appreciate you guys. On Sunday, October 20th, 
are on our afternoon stream. We will be spinning the wheel of style to announce the category for November's Transmall competition and announce all the deadlines and other relevant dates for that contest then. On November 1st, we will be doing a special stream starting at 10 a.m. Mountain Time, streaming the opening ceremonies of BlizzCon. We hope you guys come by to experience it with us and hang out with us and talk about it and share our reactions to all of the big announcements. Um, one quick note uh, on the stream on Sunday when we did our spooky run, we were supposed to draw a new name for the t-shirt that was won uh, from the, con the surprise contest but on our Facebook page a couple weeks ago. Um, we've tried giving it away to two people and nobody's claimed it yet, so we are going to draw another name. I'm going to do that actually right now on this video because we forgot to do it on stream. So, we will try to give this away one last time and hope for the best. So, we have Cass. Cass. Congratulations, Cass. Uh, let us know uh, what uh, style of t-shirt you want, your size, your address, all that good stuff, and claim that prize, please. We really want to give away that t-shirt. Um, we appreciate all of your guys' input on that post. We really appreciate it. Um, we always love hearing from you guys and finding out more about what you like watching and just learning more information from you. Um, so thank you, everybody, for that. Also remember that our December event has already started. Send us a Christmas card, a postcard, an e-card uh, to our PO Box or email. For every 10 entrants, we will be giving away a dozen homemade cookies. The addresses to send all those things are found in our FAQ, which we will link below again, along with all of the relevant information that covers everything that I've touched on today. Um, and that's it, guys. That is it for this week. Thank you again, everybody who came out to the Spooky Run. It was a wonderful turnout. We really appreciate that. Um, we will be giving away uh, that awesome map prize to Paul. Um, we are very excited about that. We uh, really appreciate all of the new followers that we've been getting. Um, you guys are just amazing. You guys continue to help us grow. Uh, and we just can't tell you how much we appreciate it all. So thank you so very much guys until next week take care of each other take care of yourselves and be cool to each other bye